Okay, hey there guys. I'm uh, just coming on quickly, hopefully, to, um, you know, share a bit of the uh, things as they are at the moment. I uh, had another talk with Dad and, um, yeah, I suppose it's going okay. There's all sorts of things. It's not easy and I don't think it'll ever, it ever will be really easy uh, for either of us. So it's just been too difficult. We're talking to each other every week now, which is, um, I'm learning all sorts of things. I'm learning all sorts of information. All sorts of details are uh, coming out of the woodwork all of a sudden. And um, a lot of it hurts. I can't help it. It just hurts. I'm sitting here. It doesn't get any easier. So here's that to prove or to show to you that it doesn't get easier within like five or six conversations with this guy at this moment. I'm just going to be really straight now. I'm just, I, I'm, I've tried to sort of distance myself a bit, you know, because that's what he wants me to do. And of course, here I go again. I'm going off doing what somebody tells me to do because that's what I learned. Gosh, this guy's, this, it, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Basically, that's it. As far as he's concerned, I mean, he pays attention to me, I think. He sort of listens to me. He's also 85 years old, so let him, you know, do his thing. He... I suppose he's well-intentioned. He, he tries to, you know, um, doesn't feel that way. He doesn't see me just like my mum never really saw me. Those people never saw me. As far as it looks like on this side, okay, I might as well not have existed. Because these, because they were completely, um, you know, locked into their own thing. So yeah, so here I am. Of course, I am evil now. I'm this brat who never appreciated what they gave to me. Haven't we heard that type of story uh, before? So go ahead, blame me. Now that I'm in the middle of this, you know, I'm trying so hard to make room for all the perspectives on all sides and to, um, to to see it as a learning process and a learning curve and all that. And I've never really taken myself seriously. There's no perspective inside me. So in a way, talking to him kind of forces me to come up with this my own perspective and this is what it is as far as it goes inside here looking at them i might as well not have existed they took care of me physically there was all sorts of things they did for me they gave me presents and stuff but there were things that i needed like peace and security and uh trust that wasn't there there was none of that and I still don't have it and here I am yeah sure I'm over dramatizing I'm doing all these things I'm the kid of these two idiots it's so easy to make kids I wish they'd never done it I wish I didn't have to go through all this I am in such pain I haven't got any I haven't got any crystals or I haven't done anything. I tried, you know, the rose quartz and the obsidian and all the rest of it. And he's not, he's not nasty. He's not, he's not really nasty. He just, he's just telling me things the way he sees them. What am I so upset about? Much of what I hear is, uh, another version of what I used to hear from my mum. 
So why, why I'm, th I'm 53 years old, why do I want uh, support and kindness and trust from him now? Why do I want this if I know if it's never been there and I know that? What am I what, what am I waiting for? What am I hoping for? Some kind of a Why do I do this? Why do why am I here? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm expecting him to not be himself. But I don't know him, or at least I didn't know him 6 weeks ago when this whole adventure started. So um, he's telling me that I talk about myself too much. He's telling me that I don't communicate because I don't look at what you guys want. People do all sorts of different things. He's not, he's not telling me that, not exactly telling me that what I'm doing is wrong. And he's just being himself. He's being honest and straightforward and open, fairly, you know. I think he's doing a great job. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Only I'm too messed up. I, I, have, I have such a hard time dealing with this. So seeing as you guys, some of you guys have watched my Midnight Oil uh, episodes about this, I just think it's basically really fair to update you uh, how it's going and uh, I started this whole silly crazy adventure off uh, with the title I think uh, it's dark in empathy territory because it was the middle of the night and candles and three half what was it half past three in the morning or something and um, I should really you know I should be more rational about these things God I've been digging away at myself, trying to get a hold of why it is that I find this so difficult. And whether it's only my memories and my programming from my mum, um, who, who used to be scared, you know, out of her wits. And who used to also, you know, project some of her own insecurities on him and things like that. And there was a whole messed up, there was a, it was a really weird messed up... Um, Kind of a romance, kind of a thing. That I'm the product of. And that is something that people, that sometimes people talk about. Weird, difficult, romantic relationships, right? He said they loved each other very much. And she decided that she couldn't cope with it anymore and then she stepped out. She wanted a divorce. That's what, uh, of course, well, of course, yes, I have heard from her uh, quite a bit more about how that went, really. And um, I've taken all that inside me. So, of course, a lot of what I uh, am struggling with I basically feel like I'm, you know, I'm less scared now than I was before. I sleep better each time I have a talk with him. It's, uh, yeah. But he can be, um, they're very, they're very special people. I don't know, you know, I don't want to go into the astrology too much, but there's a lot of that. That's really, um, you know, look it up. Sun, Mars, Uranus conjunctions. That's them. And they're really... Uh, I'm basically just too lazy. To, I can't be bothered. The way, the level of intensity of those people. He's like that. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's that simple. That I'm basically, I can't be bothered to be that intense. And I can be really intense, you know? I mean, I'm, I can be all over the place. <laughs> but 
to um, I'm not ambitious enough maybe I look ambitious uh, with some things or maybe you guys I don't know what you guys think about that but um, oh god I don't know I think I'm basically too lazy I think that's my problem <laughs> here so that's a really simple conclusion at this point to come to I've um, I'm in a bit of a mess. I've got a really nice book. I've got a really nice big uh, card drawing cloth that I'd like to show you. I have attempted the French translation for the poem that I uh, put up just now. I've tried again and failed again because uh, I think it was too, I'm too, too much of a mess anyway. But I don't think I can write French poetry in the way that I would like. That's it, really. I don't have that type of a poetic... I don't have the connection to French to the French language. I have a very strong connection to the French language when it comes to uh, cursing and uh, using bad language or you know venting, <laughs> Vent venting um, frustration and that type of thing. That I can do in French really well. Other than that, I think it's just too long ago that I actually lived there, and. Um, you know, use the language fluently enough and so on. So I'm going to leave that at that anyway. It was that we were, my dad and I were talking about that stuff. So it's a very double edged sword that he's actually watching everything I make more or less recently. And, you know, you can see how this is not easy. Okay. I've got a great book about alchemy and mysticism. I will show that to you. Like so. It's uh, quite a heavy, uh, you know, thick uh, book with a lot of illustrations in it and uh, oh, gorgeous stuff, you know, celestial harmonies and stuff like that. Oh, looky. That's a uh, representation of the planetary spheres, I suppose. Oh, it's a West Indian painting. Ooh, that's awesome. So from all over the world. And it's in Dutch, this one. It also, uh, it's from the uh, the actual museum, the collection of the museum that we are going to go to in uh, in Amsterdam in, um, you know, after Christmas. There's that. This is my uh, card drawing cloth that I made uh, during the past uh, couple of days. It's actually uh, ties with a ribbon, like so. And then, because I heard, I think it was Lisa who mentioned that a few times recently that she wanted uh, a really big card slinging cloth to, you know, for to uh, do big spreads on. So this is, you know, like so, and like so. So immense. And this is the other side to it. Nice uh, shiny stuff. Both are uh, furniture fabrics that I found, that I thrifted, actually. So it was pretty awesome to find those. And this makes me happy to look at. And I have done a couple of, uh, you know, card drawing business. I should stop taking this all so seriously, which is what he's telling me, which is what I've been telling you on and off uh, recently with, um, you know, my updates and things. And um, seeing as I grew up with somebody who really, yes, here it is again, who took everything really very seriously all the time, it's just hard. And um, I have been punished for not taking things seriously enough. Often. Often. And that's still there. So, why am I surprised? Hmm? Um, I have to take it to the next level. I've been telling myself that a few times, and I think it is working, but it's still a whole lot of work. It feels like plowing through this, oh, I don't know, something like tree roots or something, you know, a very a thick layer of darkness that I have to claw my way through and at one point I suppose then it will all sort of just fall away and 
I won't have to bother so much, ideally. Okay, I have one final thought. Maybe that helps. Because I don't want to leave you with the miserableness and all that. I don't want to leave myself with the miserableness. He says I use I too often. He talks to somebody who's done stylistics for, uh, you know, in university. He doesn't know that. Never mind. Um, we, we're supposed to... I am the channel that I'm doing. I talk about myself. Because some of what I do and some of the things that I've been interacting with actually the more intense and emotional and personal and narcissistic and self-involved i am being the better responses i get from you guys so yeah so something's happening anyway which is why i'm still here the thing i was going to tell you about um i had a, like a kind of a tiny little vision of my past life self that you know, the 14th century gypsy girl self. That's, uh, oh, she's, she's amazing. She just keeps visiting on and off when I want to. When I ask her, she comes to me and she helps me. And she said about my parents, they are the same. And she kept repeating that a couple of times and then she left again. And I fell asleep because this was last night, last night somewhere. And I was wondering, what does she mean? Because to me... Um, seeing as I've been engaging with past lives self and non-self you know, vibrations um, incarnation levels and soul, the soul dimension I tend to think that what she meant wasn't they are the same as uh, I don't know, two hairpins are the same. They're the same type of hairpin. I It may be that she meant that they come from the same soul because they have the same horoscope, basically, more or less. Which is one way of putting it. It's possible. What I'm Basically, why I want to just shout this out there, you know, and just... <laughs> launch this into the internet and then no, no matter what anyway is that it may be possible because I've seen the soul dimension to be this you know mind-blowing hugeness with which of which what we know of ourselves even if you really stretch and you try to know as much as possible about yourself um, you're still you know with training and meditation and 30 years of that um, you're still not gonna, um, what you are or what I am is only like this infinitesimal fraction of what the soul is that I am linked to. It is, we are linked, I am linked to my soul in the sense that there is a level of identity that's the same. There's a vibration, if you like, that's the same. And that's probably where I need to go with my parents. Because that's my thing. That's what I want to... Yeah. I've been I've been looking at those things for myself uh, in the past couple of years. And enjoyed that immensely. I've hardly ever looked at anybody else's soul. Husband. But husband is really different from me. So that's very comfortable to, you know, sort of observe. It, it's like seeing auras, I think, or, you know, that type of thing, only different. It's like looking at identity, because that's what I'm really interested in. So, yeah, so there's that. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't really been groomed to be part of society that much. I'm part of this type of thing. So, thank goodness there's a place for me on the internet. Um, what is that? 19 and a half, Christ. I'm going to leave you with that. Have a nice weekend. I'll be back again next week. Uh, rain or shine. Okay? See you soon. Thank you for watching, you guys. See you. Bye-bye.